Hey guys, welcome to Back Beyond Tech. Um, so today we're just gonna do a really quick uh, news update and it's all about NVIDIA today. So NVIDIA's high-end GPUs seem to be dogged with problems at the moment. Um, there seems to be two separate issues and a lot of people are getting them confused. So I just thought I'd put out a really quick video to go through it. So number one affects GTX 1070s only as far as people are aware now and it only affects add-in board partner cards, the likes of EG EVGA, MSI, ASUS, blah, blah, blah. Basically, it boils down to this, guys. Some of these boards are being made with a cheaper memory. So that instead of using the Samsung memory that Nvidia has used on the Founders Edition cards, they're using a cheaper Micron memory. Now, there's a couple of reasons they're doing this. A, it's cheaper. B, it's actually easier to manufacture so it's easier to get your hands on um, the problem is that it causes artifacting and flickering on the screen even at stock speeds and temperatures and if you try and overclock your card or overclock your memory sometimes you know it's just a no-go some people are even getting blue screen of death um, so that is the issue in a nutshell um, there's an easy way to find out if you're affected by this problem. Just download a up-to-date copy of GPU-Z. I think you should always have a copy of GPU-Z or CPU-Z on your machine. Um, simply run GPU-Z and it'll give you all the specs of your card and it'll tell you who manufactures the memory on that card. If you're using Samsung memory, you're absolutely fine. You have nothing to worry about as far as we're aware so far. If, however, you're using Micron memory, you might have problems in the future or you might be experiencing problems now and you don't know why. So there's a really, really simple fix for this. Um, you can just go to your manufacturer's website and basically download uh, BIOS Flash. I don't think that's the best solution. I think it's a bit lazy. Um, flashing your GPU BIOS is not a simple thing to do. I've done it in the past and it is certainly not without its risks doing it in a Windows environment. I think these companies um, who are releasing these BIOS flashes, um, so for instance, who is patching at the moment? Uh, so EVGA, GameWord and Palette have already confirmed that there's a patch. MSI is currently testing a patch. Um, who else are we talking about here? So. Asus and Galaxy have confirmed that they haven't got a patch yet. PY and Zotac have basically not responded to any of this news. So, back to the patch, patching process. Sorry about that, guys. Um, yeah, so it's not an easy thing to do, basically. Um, I would have preferred it if these companies had just said, come to our website, download an installer that, uh, that runs in PowerShell, and it'll do it for you. Because believe you me, you could easily turn your $400, $500 graphics card into a brick, into a paperweight essentially. I've done it in the past, flashing cards. Uh, it's not an easy thing to do. Uh, personally, I'm pretty disgusted um, at the reaction and also at these companies' behavior. They're, I mean, these cards are already, you know, overpriced in my opinion. They've gone through a really ridiculous kind of pricing structure at launch and they were so hyped. And to be, you know, sort of a few months into their life cycle, and they've already got problems just for me is it leaves a bitter taste in my mouth um, so that's that's that problem so if you've got a 1070 basically download GPU Z and see what type of memory you're running that's that's my advice so the next issue seems to be affecting just EVGA GTX 1070 and 1080 <coughs> pardon me for the win cards so essentially, this was reported a little while ago. I'll, I'll put a photo up of some of the damage that people have been uh, pe people have been reporting. So what it comes down to is basically the VRMs on these cards are getting too hot. So um, there's a bit of conflicting information here. Some people are saying there are no thermal pads on the VRM. Some people are saying the VRM pads are too thin or, or they're not adequate to cool that area. Um, so that's what the problem seems to be and 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 you know so there have been some reports of the the, the GDDR5X memory beside the VRM on these cards going up to as high as 107 degrees and that, that is way higher than their rated operating temperature which I think max out at about 95 degrees C um, 
so yeah, I, I don't know how that's happened. Um, I'm pretty shocked that's got through testing of any kind. EVGA have um, already come out with the uh, come out with a statement, um, you know, where they're not criticising Tom's hardware for the testing they've done. Tom's hardware are the guys who who came out with that 107 degrees uh, temperature there, so they're not they're not criticising them. However, they are saying that it's an extreme case usage. Um, but let's face it, if you're buying a 1070 or a 1080, you're probably in that enthusiast level where you are going to overclock and you are going to be producing more heat. And if you're paying extra for a custom board with a custom cooler, I expect the VRMs not to blow up after, again, with the memory issue before, four months into the card's life cycle. It's just absolutely obscene. Um, basically, the upshot is to this that if you have one of these cards, you can get in touch with EVGA and they will send out thermal pads to you um, to fit. Again, I don't actually think that is a particularly great issue. Uh, issue, a particularly great, sorry guys, I'm just really pissed off, a particularly great solution, because um, I don't know how many of you would be comfortable taking a graphics card apart. I mean. If I hadn't done it before, I certainly wouldn't be comfortable taking my $450, $700 graphics card apart for the first time to put thermal pads on that should have been done when it was manufactured and gone through testing and validation before this card was released. And like I said with the other issue with the memory, they hyped these cards up so much and then they messed around with the pricing structure and essentially gouged us consumers. Um, that I actually think this is unacceptable. Uh, I think it's just outrageous, to be honest. <clears throat> I'm not not impressed at all with uh, adding board partners for NVIDIA at the moment. I think they're taking the piss, to be honest. Um, so guys, that's my kind of news rant over. Uh, I hope you liked the video. Uh, if you liked the video, like it. If you don't like it, you know, dislike it. Let me know your thoughts on these two issues in the comments below. I always read the comments. I find the comments really, really interesting. And um, I'll catch you again in another great tech video soon. Bye now.